This is the video number 6 of the course of conservation framing carried out by Rinaldi. The course is edited and presented by Mal Reynolds, who is a recognized authority in this field. I would now like to show you how to make a paper tray that will support this artwork without the use of adhesives. So what you can see I've done here is I've placed the artwork on the paper. And what I've done is I've actually scored the paper with my artist bone 10 millimetres, 10 millimetres, 10 millimetres, 30 millimetres on either side. What I now need to do is I need to make four cuts. First four are across the corners. And now four further cuts. Two across the top edge. And then two down the bottom here. One. And two. And so now you can see that these flaps what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold along the creases. So there's a first fold. The second fold. And the third fold. And then just gently with your bone We'll do it on this side as well. So there's the bottom fold. There's the next one. And the final top fold. So when I start to put these corners together, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that along like there, and then bring this one on top. And you can see now the reason that I had to cut either side. I must say that this process does look far more complicated than it actually is. Once you get the hang of it, it is a very easy and very effective method of supporting artwork. But it's quite an effective way of actually holding the artwork. So what I'm going to do now finally is to put the artwork into the actual creases themselves. And then I'm going to take strip is to fasten the corners down. That's one. That's two. And I do that until all four corners are finished. So that is our final package. First of all, what I need to do is to cut my edge strips. And so I'm cutting five edge strips. Each of those are 50 millimeters apart. I am now using my artist bone to make a crease down the center of each edge strip, which makes it a lot easier to fold in a few moments time you can now see how easy it is to fold the strip along the crease made by my bone. 
I now place my artwork on the undermount and I'm going to place my first edge strip along the longest side. I slot the artwork in the edge strip and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape each end of the edge strip down onto the mount board. So that is the first strip in place. I now look to my second strip and I lay it along the edge of the artwork, weighting the tip down. I now need to mark the under edge where I'm going to pass this strip through. So I mark it with pencil giving it plenty of room. I take my knife and I cut a slot in the edge strip. I now pass my new strip through that slot, replace the artwork Then using my tape, I secure the end of the edge. That's the first edge, I burnish it. A second piece of tape to secure the other edge. And there we are, securing the other end. And now that edge strip is firmly in place. This method of supporting unusual items of artwork is very effective and can be used on a number of occasions. You will find all the products for conservation framing in our website.